it like a balloon. You see, it's never too late and it's never too soon. Take it from me, it's I right to be in living color. And how would you feel knowing prejudice was obsolete? And all mankind danced to the exact beat. And at night it was safe to walk down the street. In living color. In living color. What's mine is yours, and what's yours is mine. In living color. And how would you feel knowing everybody was your friend? From thin to thicker, through thicker, thin. And egotistical trips was put to an end. In living color. Like a balloon, you see, it's never too late and it's never too soon. Take it from me, it's I right to be in living color. And how would you feel knowing prejudice was obsolete and all mankind danced to the exact beat? And at night it was safe to walk down the street. In living color. Thank you. I'm Keenan Ivy Wayans. Welcome to the show. Like I said, I always like to keep this short and sweet. So we start by saying hello to my crew, my DJ SW1. <laughs> and before we get to the laughs, we got to get to the ladies. Starting over here with Carrie, Carrie Ann, Lisa, Michelle, and Deidre. Oh. My fly girl. Keep it up. All right. Sit back, relax, we'll be there in a minute. See ya. To the first meeting of complete self-defense for women. I'm Bob Jackson. I have a black belt in karate. And I've studied martial arts for over 20 years. I'm also a former world champion. Now, this course may cost more than others. But I guarantee you'll never be afraid of violence again. <laughs> now let me ask, what are you ladies most concerned about? Yes, you! Okay, say you find out something about your husband, like he got another wife and some kids. Well, what I want to know is, how do you kill a man in his sleep? Let me think about that one. Why don't we start, though, with defense against the knife attack? Who would like to attack me? Oh, me. I got one in my purse. Why don't you try? This is a real knife. Don't worry about it, grasshopper. I, I don't know. I, I really, I, I, I don't think I should. It's okay. Come on. Oh, oh my God! I'm really sorry. Oh, I, 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 I didn't mean it. I, I, are you all right? I'm fine. I shifted my internal organs to avoid the knife. However, like a lot of beginning students. You attacked me wrong. Oh. You're supposed to come at me like this. Uh, remember that and try it again. Okay. Sort of a downward thing. All righty. 
You see, you're still bending your elbows. <laughs> You've got to keep your arm completely straight. Oh. That's right. the whole key. Oh, God. All right. Try it one more time. Straight. Okay. Okay. I got it. All right. That's it? Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to show her how easy it can be. Yeah, yeah. Oh. After 20 years. This class is a ripoff. I want my money back. Right, me, me too. And I looked it up, and in 1976, Chuck Norris was the world champion. Oh, what? You I never said I was the only world champion. <laughs> there were lots of them. I sparred with Elvis. Wow. Okay, uh, say uh, you wake up from a deep sleep. And your wife is doing this. Ow. What would you do? Ow. And I turn up does this. Yeah, and Elvis does this. Ow. That might have hurt if I hadn't shifted Mr. Happy. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Tom, on your new promotion. You represent our commitment to youth. Thank you, boss. Later, babe. Bye-bye. Gee, another promotion for Tom. What is it? Youth? Hey, he's two years older than I am. Maybe it's this gray that's holding me back. <laughs> Get rid of that gray. Add some zest, some color to your life with new and improved Gratian formula. <laughs> Gratian formula makes the change so gradual that no one will notice. I'll call you back. Jim, there's something different about you. Are you wearing a new suit? You look a little, uh, more manly. You know, Jim, in the last few weeks, something seems, uh, different about you. You've been working out? I, I know, you lost some weight. Well, whatever it is, keep it up. New and improved Gratian formula adds zest and color. Live from Las Vegas, it's 21 hours and counting here at the Jerry's Kids Telethon. Here's your host, Jerry Lewis. This is love, and love is this, if you're just joining us. It's the 21st hour of the Jerry Kids Telethon. We're here to fight a deadly affliction, one that is suffered by millions of inner city youths across this great nation of ours. Also many public figures, such as the entire singing group Full Force. Get busy one time. Say hello to one of Jerry's kids. <laughs> this is Rodney Washington from Compton, California. And this is the dreaded activator that he craves so very desperately. <laughs> hey! Rodney. Tell the people out there what happened to you as a result of your Jerry Curl. Well, you know, you know, first it was the end thing to do, man. Everybody had one. You know, <laughs> then things started going bad, man. My woman left me, man, because she got tired of washing them pillow covers, man. I was like a walking fire hazard. <laughs> At my job at McDonald's, man, I couldn't even go near the heat lamps or roof. 
okay. Hey! It's okay. Let it go. Can we make with the Kleenex here? <laughs> Okay, Rodney, give me the good stuff. Well, I... I finally made that call to Jerry Curl Deactivation Center. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, the hardest thing I ever did, man, was... staying away from that activator, man. My hand was just... I, I just needed that activator in my head. Oh, yeah. Yes, it was terrible, man. But I'm on my way back, man. Mm -hmm. Next week, I'm going to get a flat top. Oh, yeah. So you see, there is hope. Won't you please send your donations and your love? Help us fight this Jerry Curl syndrome. Is it time for me to say? Unfortunately, this year we could not get clearance on Never Walk Alone. I was devastated. So I wrote my own song. I hope you like it. Get up and shower your head all clean. You're not going far with that crazy thing. Your head just looks like crap. Put that grease ball under attack. Put that grease ball under Welcome to the Teladome. Come on, Marty, Marty, listen to me, okay? You can't rush a Tracy Chapman song, all right? You know how the creative process is. Man, that's just the way I get inspired. I wait till the last minute. Have I ever let you down? All right, then chill out, okay? I'll have the song tomorrow. Peace. No respect for adults they see. Knock you down and take you back. Make you have to bandage up your knee. Hair all night, it's not in the nose. Half a nigga, they ain't got no clothes. <laughs> I write a fast song. The way I do it, I can never go wrong. I write a fast song. Just look out my window, see what's going on. <laughs> Old man hit by a bus. I think he broke his neck. Was shuffling down to the welfare line. Had to pick up his check. <laughs> Ambulance came, took him away, but he can't afford his hospital stay. Metal twisted and turned. There's a traffic jam and the buses burn. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Big bad Ben hit his wife. Miss Walker ran and got a butcher knife. Ben don't look so tough no more. He's running across the coward like a little coward. Oh no, Miss Walker tripped over the cat. Ben ran and grabbed a baseball bat. I always thought things get better, but now he's got her in a chokehold. Miss Walker picked up a statue, knocked him in the head, and now he's out cold. 
up. Oh, he's up again. I thought he was gone, but not yet. He's back. Miss Walker picked up a table, knocked him in the head, and he's no longer able. I write a fast song. The way I do it, I can never go wrong. The accused stands before you on trial for his sins. Forgive me. I loved it, did you? Liar. You only love your freedom. Is that a sin? Your life will be a sad and lonely one. Ah, death. You belong to no one. You belong, you belong to, to no one. one. You belong to no one. If living with oppression is a sin, then I'll be guilty. Oppression for black men. If only he wasn't so dark. Interesting. <laughs> Good God Almighty, we got some more customers in here. Y'all go on and sit wherever y'all want to sit. The menus is up there by the Roach Motel. <laughs> Don't sit there. That table's reserved. You must not have been in Mama's place before. Gonna go sit where she ain't go. No, no sit where you go. We're gonna have to spank you. Mama gonna have to spank you. I'm the only one here the phone ringing, huh? First break I get, everybody else go deaf. Mm-hmm. We sick. Hello, Snack and Shack. Mm-hmm. There'll be a 45 minute wait. <laughs> Prince, I don't care if you the queen of Sheba, you're gonna have to wait long with everybody else. <laughs> Think they royalty, they can get special treatment. I don't care. Pick it up. Oops, I said beans, not green. You said green. I said beans. All right, mm-hmm. There you go. Beans. Pick it up away. <laughs> Don't mess with my pressure, woman. Don't get my pressure up. <laughs> the only thing you're going to get up anytime soon. You need to put some batteries in that hearing aid. That's what I know. I didn't know there no greens. I know you didn't order no greens. You didn't order no chicken, but you're going to get that because he needs new batteries. Getting on my nerves. Can't hear nothing. Why don't y'all go on and get yourself some water or something? Oh. Acting like you a stranger here, Mama's play making me feel all bad like that. <laughs> Mama gonna have to spank you. You keep on. I'll take Joan Collins to block. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh. 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 Onion, you pick it up. <laughs> mama, mama gonna take care of you, baby. Mama gonna special treat you. <laughs> We're cooking now. <laughs> oh, look at you, baby. Just as ever. That little twinkle in your eye, just like my grandbaby. <laughs> mama gonna cook you a little treat for you. Let me see what mama got down here. <laughs> yeah. How about a piece of pecan pie for my baby? <laughs> I'll, I'll just, uh... I'll save it for later. You're gonna hurt Mama's feelings like that. You want a piece of pie? You know what? You know what I would like is is a new fork if I could. This one is filthy. Say what? I'd like a new fork. Your fork is dirty. Oh baby, that ain't nothing but a little bit of dried up cabbage. <laughs> Garlic make my feet stink. <laughs> there you go, sweetheart. It's as good as oh baby. Look at you. You just as skinny as you won't be. Skinny as a bean pole, ain't you? Skinny as a bean pole, Skinny as a bean pole. <laughs> Black pole. Pick it up. Um, I would just like the uh, the salmon croquettes, please. Baby, you gonna have the Salisbury steak. 
I'm a vegetarian. Oh, I'm a Capricorn! <laughs> see, no, see, she doesn't eat red meat. That's what she's right. trying to say. She... Oh, you will they are smart and they are just like my little grandson. <laughs> Baby Salisbury steak ain't red, it's brown. <laughs> see, I don't eat anything that grazes. That's why your teeth are so yellow. Yellow Peter! <laughs> Luther! Luther! I need a Salisbury steak and a double order of macaroni and cheese. <clears throat> Ain't no more Salisbury steak. Well, a lot of Salisbury steak. Luther, we got a Salisbury steak. Ain't no more Salisbury steak. Look, forget the steak and uh, can I just have a Perrier, please? You want a pair of what? No, a Perrier. It's bottled Ooh, water. French. Oh, his wig. Itch. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Oh, my hair phone out on. You want to speak to the owner? Yeah. Leon, lady over here wants to speak to you. I can make a booger talk. Fun. We had a good time doing it for you. Starting May 27th. Tell them where the party's gonna be.